finally here tonight. When you think about it, it's one of the most sweeping changes in all of our modern times to our everyday lives. Most Americans now carry a camera in some form with them at all times. Add in social media and you get an insatiable need to take pictures wherever you are and with whomever. The celebration of self has given us the selfie, and just this week, some very brave athletes have complained someone's going to get hurt out there. Our report tonight from NBC's Jenna Wolf. It's the goal with any spectator sport, proximity to the action, right? The closer you get, the better, unless it's too close, which is exactly what's happening at the Tour de France this week. Millions of fans lining the streets to get a glimpse, but at the same time, putting themselves and the riders in danger just to snap a selfie. It's not enough anymore to take a snapshot of just yourself or just the action. Apparently, Le Tour is not Le Tour without Le Selfie. U.S. cyclist T.J. Van Garderen, who's competing in the race, recently lashed out on social media, tweeting, standing in the middle of the road with your back turned while 200 cyclists come at you just to take a selfie. Hashtag think. But plenty of people aren't thinking. I think the year 2014 might be the year of taking the selfie to the next level, doing whatever is crazy enough to make people notice your selfie, stand apart. So what qualifies as a good selfie these days? Well, I mean, you have to have the right lighting. Lighting? How about risking arrest, bodily injury, or pure humiliation? These days, nothing is anything without proof you were there. More than an autograph or even a conversation, as Taylor Swift recently wrote in an op-ed. The only memento kids these days want is a selfie. A selfie is all about the action, right? Take Brian Williams. He's on the phone. That's crazy action. I'm going to capture it. Perfect. It's what's behind you that I think what it really is now. Is that people, they don't believe you. They don't believe you. It's like, it's like I met Derek Cheater. It's like, oh, yeah? Take, did you take a picture? No. It's like, oh, I don't believe you. But a cautionary word to the selfie takers, the more time you spend capturing the moment, the less time for you to actually live it. Jenna Wolf, NBC News, New York. So let's be careful out there. That's our broadcast on a Tuesday night. Thank you for being here with us. I'm Brian Williams. We, of course, hope to see you 